Imagine you got given the task to catalog all organisms living in a river looking like that. Maybe there's a proposed mining project in the area and it will be important to assess the biodiversity and hence resilience of the aquatic ecosystem. Where would you start? You could start by going out and catching fish individually, identifying them. However, this is a very laborious and costly task. It's not as easy as if, just, you know, if, as if you could just throw pokeballs at them to catch them. But if you also wanted to add amphibians and reptiles, invertebrates, plants and bacteria, um, can you be truly sure that you would catch them all? Clearly we need a more efficient method and this is what my research is about. Fish and other organisms, they shake mucus and skin, they release eggs and sperm, they secrete waste and eventually they die. All this organic material contains DNA, which persists in the environment for a short period of time. We call this environmental DNA or short eDNA. We can now go and filter the river water to extract the eDNA, which should contain all the information on the biodiversity in this river. To identify individual species from this tangle of eDNA, we make use of DNA barcoding. Short genetic probes can be used to scan this eDNA for short fragments specific to a species. Um, think of it as a scanner in a supermarket that can distinguish between different items based on their barcodes. Using high throughput technology, we can even scan all the barcodes in one go. Going back to the supermarket example, we have now a supermarket scanner that scans the whole inventory of the supermarket in one go. We call this technology metabarcoding, and it can give us a snapshot of the complete biodiversity of this river based on a few water samples. We've done several pilot trials, but we'd like to highlight one. We went up to Ellis River just outside of Townsville, and we got some water samples from there. We were able to identify many native fish species, including barramundi, but also invasive species like tilapia, which are important to monitor. But it didn't even just end there. We also were able to find an endangered native tree frog, cows grazing nearby, fruit bats in the trees. Um, so there's a lot of potential there. It's not only... Um, limited to fresh water either. It can also be used in estuaries or on the reef. Using DNA metabarcoding, we can truly say that we can catch them all.